With 50 people killed in the unrest over the past eight months, the Bahraini authorities have now banned all protest gatherings across the kingdom. Mariam al Khawaja is acting president for the Bahrain Centre for Human Rights and she joins me now. Mariam, uh, we saw similar action in Kuwait last week. Public gatherings exceeding 20 people were banned. Now, were the people of Bahrain expecting this or was there a precipitating factor? No, I think that, uh, you know, the ban on protest doesn't really come as a surprise as we've already had, to some extent, a ban on protest throughout the past year and a half. Uh, the amount of protests that have actually been allowed to take place, I, you can count on your fingers because there's so few. But every single day there's been protests, and those protests have been uh, attacked with the use of excessive force. So I don't think that the, that the issue here is looking at whether there's a ban on protest or not, the fact that they've made it official. It's what comes with it. The fact that the the Minister of Interior has now said that anyone who calls for protests or participates in those protests will have legal action taken against them and they will be prosecuted. I think that's the thing that we should be paying attention to. Since the dismantling of the Pearl Monument, which had been the gathering point for protest, where have people been gathering? Well, in all sorts of places, uh, inside their own villages and residential areas, but uh, more recently there's been more of a focus on the capital town of Manama, uh, which really is a very sensitive area to the regime because of the uh, economic int- uh, importance of that area. And so people have been focusing more on attempting to go there, and usually the riot police will use more excessive force to attempt to stop people from gathering in that specific area. Would you agree these demonstrations have been extremely violent? No, I would not. Um, what we have seen is definitely that the use of Molotov cocktails and stones has increased in Bahrain to a certain extent, but to a large extent, most of the por- protests remain peaceful. Um, I think that the state-run, you know, systematic state violence goes hand in hand with the violence that comes from the some of the youth protesters. Uh, when when we have a peaceful protest that does not get attacked by the riot police, it ends peacefully. It's when the riot police use excessive use of force that the youth start using their own methods uh, to fight back. And of course, we denounce all kinds of uh, violence used from either side. And uh, your response to the belief of many in the Sunni population that Iran or Hezbollah have been behind some of these nightly riots? I think that that's an old story that's been talked about a little too much and given a little too much importance. The Bahraini regime has been playing that story for some time now. Their own report, the regime's own report, the BICI, the Bahraini Independent Commission of Inquiry, said they found absolutely no evidence of any Iranian interference in the Bahraini protests. And I mean, it comes to as as, as simple as asking oneself one question. Why would a regime like Iran that has its own record of human rights violations ask an entire population in Bahrain where you had about 50% of the population going out to protest, ask them to go out and protest for democracy and human rights. It really does not, you know, it doesn't make sense if you think about it. What do you expect the response to be now from people who want that right to go out and protest and demand their rights? I don't think that, you know, any decision coming from the Minister of Interior, who he himself should be held accountable for uh, allegedly being involved in crimes that have been committed over the past year and a half, uh, any decisions coming from him to ban protests, I don't think will actually stop the protests from happening. And that's why I said that I don't think the importance of the statement today was about the banning of protests, but rather the prosecution. I think they're going to start using that as grounds to go after a lot more people now. Mariam Al-Khawaja, acting president for the Bahrain Centre for Human Rights.